Perreikestolen is one of the most iconic rock formations in Norway, and the hike to it is the most popular one in the whole country. We will tell and show you everything you need to know. This video has been produced in collaboration with Discovery Route and Kronengard Hotel in Sannes. You find more information at the end of the video. Perreikestolen, in English the pulpit rock, is a rock formation high above the Lysefjord in the municipality of Strand. It is the flat top of a cliff which measures approximately 25 by 25 meters. From the edge, it drops down 604 meters to the fjord. Preikestolen was called Hyvlatona before 1900. Then the Stavanger Turistforening started to market the site as Preikestolen. Only in the 1990s was the name changed to the locally used New Norsk pronunciation Preikestolen. In recent years, Preikestolen became the most popular hiking destination in Norway with over 300,000 visitors in 2019. Even if the path is like a motorway compared to the regular Norwegian hiking path, one still needs to wear proper clothing and shoes. Hiking pants and jackets are recommended. Some people do it in jeans, but that's not very comfortable. You will also be very warm while going up but you will need better clothing while watching the panorama at the top. You should wear some sturdy shoes with profiles, so you won't slip on flat stone surfaces. Regular sneakers with flat soles are not ideal. Before the corona crisis, there were tourists from cruise ships going up there which were completely ill-equipped. In case you are missing something, check at shops at the base camp. As Perkestolen is so popular, it is also easy accessible. There is a bus which runs from Stavanger during the summer season. If you come by car, you can take the new Rifas tunnel from Stavanger, or the Perkestolen ferry between Lauvik and Oanes. Then follow route 523 until you see a big sign with Perkestolen. There are two marking places, the one by the base camp and the upper one. The hikes that start from both are actually equally long. The base camp parking is lower, so you'll have to climb the path up. People that are used to hiking will require less than two hours to hike up, while others should plan at least two and a half hours. For the complete tour, including all breaks and photo stops, you should plan around six hours we had to park at the upper parking place. From there, follow the path. It is extremely well marked, so it's nearly impossible to get lost. There are also plenty of other people, so just follow the flow. After 600 meters, you will reach the crossing to the base camp and lower parking place. At the bottom, you will see the Preikestolen base camp and Preikestolen Fjellstue, where you can stay overnight and eat. Then there are some more stairs to reach the viewpoint over the Resvatne. Then there are some more stairs, pass Husafjelle, and you reach the swamp Krogabekmyra. There is an elevated path over the swamp, so there's no problem crossing it. Next follows the steepest climb on the path up Nevardalskare. In 2013, this part was completely rebuilt by Sherpas and stairs were constructed, so now it's very easy to get up. At the top you will reach a cross point with paths leading to other destinations. The path will go up and down for the next kilometer, and you will pass by a small lake and then there will be a small refuge cabin. And after that, the path will start to hang in the cliff, but there are stairs and bridges. Then you will reach the point where it turns to follow the cliff of the Lysefjord, and shortly after, you will finally see Preikestolen. 
From here, there are no railings anymore. This is a conscious choice, as the Norwegian government doesn't want to fence off nature. Also, it helps to avoid dangerous behavior, like climbing over fences and getting in real danger. Until now, no one has ever fallen off the cliff. Most people keep their distance from the edge, but some people sit at the edge, having their feet dangling in the void. On certain days, a queue will form so people can take the Instagram picture at the edge with the view over the Lysefjord. You will notice that there is a huge crack in the plateau. At some point, Prekestolen will fall into the fjord, but that's not going to happen anytime soon. The final fight of Mission Impossible Fallout was filmed on Prekestolen. For that, the access was closed for a week, and the rig was installed so that Tom Cruise could climb up to the front side. There was quite a huge disappointment when that scene was not located in Norway at the end, but in Kashmir. Also, a premiere of the movie was held on top of Prekestolen, and people had to hike down in the dark after seeing it. The way down is done on the same path. People hike now all year to Bergestolen, but only very experienced people should go up there when there is snow and ice. In the high season, you can avoid the huge crowds if you start before 9 a.m. or after 3 p.m. So that's it. We hope this video will help you to have the best experience when hiking up Bergestolen. Please give a like to this video, and if you haven't done it, then subscribe to the channel. Check out our Facebook and Instagram for bonus content. Discovery Route is an alliance of hotels and touristic companies along Route 13 between Stavanger and Bergen. The original Discovery Route was established in the 1880s to allow rich Englishmen to experience the wilderness of Norway. Also today you will find Norway's iconic landmarks along the route like Perkestolen, Låtefossen and the Hardangerfjord. Check their website for more information and booking. Kronengård Hotel in Sannes is a small historical hotel with 32 rooms. The main house in Swiss style was built in 1898 for use as a summer residence. This place became a favorite gathering place for family and friends. This formed the basis for the pleasant, informal atmosphere that still reigns the place. The kitchen at Kronengård Hotel is widely known for genuine and traditional cooking, with ingredients from local suppliers. Kronengård Hotel offers elegant, traditional accommodation in quiet surroundings. All rooms are equipped by modern standards. Parking is free. Free charging is offered to electric car owners. The hotel is located by road 13, so guests have easy access to activities and attractions in the Stavanger area and nearby Rifylke.